In this video, I want to cover off how you can actually go in and brand your Microsoft 365 tenant. That's basically customizing it to have a slightly different look and feel, uh, especially around the login experience. So let us launch an in private browser here and go and have a look at um, the login experience on uh, the tenant that is branded. So you'll see here that when I log into uh, the portal.office.com, I get a very generic looking background and part of that is provided across all the tenants, okay? So this is the standard look and feel. Now, if you don't change that, that is what you're going to see uh, throughout this login process. However, when I log in with an email address or a tenant that has been branded, so I put in the email address, you'll see that immediately the branding kicks in before I need to complete that login process with my password, all right? So again, as soon as the tenant is identified as being branded, so branding has been configured on it, you will see that appear. Now, some of the features of branding are obviously the background image here. You'll see also that at the top here, the uh, logo is customized. You'll also see down the bottom here that we have uh, an area for text that is also part of the branding. So if we go in here and log in with our password, you'll see that we log in as normal. All right, we continue through the process and then basically we continue on uh, as is. Now, the way that this is branded is you'll need to have uh, admin access and what we'll need to do actually is log in to the Azure portal uh, as that administrator. Okay, so let's log into the Azure portal because we have logged in as an administrator. Let us go into the menu here and go into Azure Active Directory. Now, Azure Active Directory will be the option for, again, controlling users, groups, security, and a range of things. But if we scroll down, you'll see that we have an option here called Company Branding. Now, if we select that, you'll see that we do have a number of different options here, but we have one that is already configured by default. So let's go in uh, and have a look at that. So this represents the branding that has been applied to the tenant, as you see. So the first thing is you can upload a background image. You'll see that when you go into branding, it will give you the specifics of that image. So you'll see how big it needs to be, also its size uh, and file type. You'll then see the banner logo. Again, that can be easily replaced or changed. We've also got a username hint if you want to uh, put that in. We've also got that sign-in text, which appeared uh, again at the bottom of the page. We've also got a sign-in background color if you want to do that. And we've also got some smaller logos that will appear in uh, different areas within the tenant. Now, remember that the branding applies in a couple of different locations as well. So it will not only apply during the login process, it will also apply, for example, when you do things like uh, sharing files in OneDrive uh, for business. So users, when they send out invites, the generic Microsoft invite, that branding will begin to appear there as well. Now, if you want to know uh, some details on how to do this apart from this video, you will find a document here about adding branding to your organization's uh, Azure Active Directory. So you do a search uh, basically on that. You will notice here that uh, adding custom branding requires you to have Azure AD P1, P2, or the basic editions, or you have an Office 365 license. So in the case of all our Microsoft 365 environments, yes, we will have a license. We will be able to go in and customize our branding. Now, one of the big benefits, I think, of uh, the custom branding is the fact that it is, uh, again, makes things a little bit more secure by giving the user a known environment that they will log into. So if they receive a phishing scam, for example, it will mimic a custom, a standard uh, Microsoft 365 page. Now, if you customize your, your login page or brand your login page, hopefully when your users click on a, a malicious link, if they ever do, then it will take them to an unfamiliar page or a page that looks generic or it hasn't got their company logo and hopefully it'll make them uh, stop and think a little before they uh, basically go in and do that. Now, in summary, very easy. All we need to do is we need to log into the uh, Azure portal as an administrator. We need to go to uh, the option for uh, Azure Active Directory. And once we are in the Azure Active Directory environment, we go in and select the option here called Company Branding. And then if we drill into that, you'll see that we can then basically go in and we can upload things like the background image, the customized text and the message uh, for the user. So again, quite a simple, straightforward process that only needs to be done the once and is recommended uh, as a security option uh, for your environment. 
and also again gives it a, a nice look and feel as well and makes it unique to your environment. So take a moment, have a think about that, go in and look at customizing your environment. Very simple, straightforward process and again should make your tenant just that little bit more secure. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video.